What's up guys, Brian Elwood. Welcome back to the Aligned Coach Podcast. Today, I want to speak to all of you who are struggling to pick your niche. This is a huge decision that people make. In fact, I had somebody reach out to me and say, I'd love to see a list of the most profitable coaching niches. And I used to Google that too. And that's actually not at all the best way to make this decision. And I also see a lot of people who are just stuck making the decision in the first place. They have a lot of things they're interested in and they don't really know what they should do. Maybe they you know, want to do one thing but feel more qualified in something else. Or maybe they just can't decide so they keep it really vague and then nobody understands how they can help them. Lots of issues with this decision around choosing your niche. So I'm going to break this down for you in relatively quick fashion and hopefully clear up a lot of things related to how you should make this really important decision. Okay. So first of all, let's define what a niche even means. Or maybe you say niche if you're in over there in the UK. But um, a niche is basically like a category like real estate investing would be a coaching niche or um, you know like diet or um, personal finances yoga those would be the niche that you're going to coach within now those are all really broad terms like there's so many different types of real estate investing right you could build new houses you could buy apartment buildings you could purchase, um, you know, old rundown single family houses and fix them up like I've always done. You could do a lot of different things in that realm of real estate investing as far as like coaching and helping other people. So what I, the way I like to think about it is instead of just thinking high level, like niche, like you can, you can think about that, but really it's like, what is the outcome you want to create for somebody else. That is how to have a really sharp and crisp program that helps people. Like for example, my program, it's called the Expert Business Blueprint, gives people the exact blueprint to start their expert or coaching or consulting business. That's it, real simple. You wanna become a coach or an expert? My program gives you the exact step-by-step blueprint to make that happen, to launch that business, to launch your products, to sell your program. And so I want you to think on what the outcome is that you want to create for someone else. That takes this really broad decision of what's my niche and just boils it way down to what is the specific thing that you want to do. It's almost like if you went to a sandwich shop, their niche is sandwiches, but they sell very specific sandwiches. They sell a tuna sub or the Italian hoagie or whatever it is. And you'd go in and you say, I want a turkey bacon club. That is the, that is the outcome I want (laughs) from this, this shop. It's real specific and people know exactly what they're going to get when they hand over their money. In fact, I've thought before that like physical products are easier to sell in one light because it's really clear how much you're going to get. Like when I go to the coffee shop and I give them five, six, seven dollars almost every week to get my fancy latte or whatever, I'm not dilly dallying about that decision because I know that they're going to hand that delicious latte over the counter to me with oat milk every single time I give them the money, right? I know exactly what I'm going to get. And a lot of the reason that a coaches and experts fail to communicate with their audiences and promote their programs and be successful is because they just don't know what they do for people or they haven't figured out how to say it in an articulate specific way. And so this like decision is going to help your message become a lot more crisp. 
a book that I absolutely love and I recommend is called Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. Highly recommend you read that if you want like the deepest dive on how to become a master of messaging. So I know we talked about helping you choose your niche and I'm going off on a bit of a tangent, but what I'm basically saying is you should focus more on a specific outcome you wanna create for somebody. And when you do that, it's also going to help with your marketing. So that's what that tangent was about. You should also go back and listen to the episode where I talk about how Brendan Burchard um, took his business to 50 million, why you need a grid. Uh, look for the episode that that says the grid. I think maybe that's the one I'm referring to, not the Brendan one, even though they're related. It's just a couple episodes prior to this one, or maybe it's last week's. I can't actually remember. Two weeks, I think. You can go watch that after this, and it'll show you how you can actually help people get different outcomes over the course of your career as an expert. When I learned that, it was the most freeing and just mind-blowing thing. I was like, oh, okay, it all makes sense. So what you pick as that first outcome, like if your outcome is, I'm going to help people get their first rental property, then that's the thing you might stick with for 12, 18, 24 months. But then once you get some people across that finish line, they might say, well, you now, now I want to uh, scale to 10 properties. And you can create another program that's different that takes them to their first 10. Or maybe they want something to help them with their time management or their energy or their personal growth. You can create a third product to help them with that. And then their aspirations um, can be met all through working with you. And whether or not you realize it, the people that you admire the most and follow the most closely probably have a path that's going to take you to a new level as a person in your personal growth and your achievements that you're able to see on some level. And so you realize it's worth me spending some time listening to this person because they can take me somewhere. Another tangent, I'm the master of tangents, but I hope this is all making sense. And I just wanted to say that because you're not pigeonholed forever by this decision. So any of you who are like, ah, you're making me boil it down to a specific outcome, Brian, that's for this product. That's not for your whole career. But the first product you're going to start with, it's linked back to who do you serve and what do they need the most? What's the first thing they need? Your ideal client, your avatar. What's the first thing they need? Whatever that is, that's the outcome you create in your program. And your niche is just like a more broad way to describe that, right? My niche is, you know, online marketing or, you know, the coaching education space, right? I help coaches and experts. That's my niche. But the outcome I get for them is I give them the blueprint to launch their business. And so that's the specific outcome. And that's way more important than just being able to broadly say, oh, I help, I help people, uh, or I'm, in the me- I'm a meditation coach. Well, that's cool. I'm a spiritual coach. People say that, but if you say that to me, like, I have no idea what that means. Like, I don't know what I'm going to get because that could mean so many different things. It's okay to put that on your business card or whatever on your profile, but like in the, the content you create in the launches and the promotions of your products, you should be talking about the specific outcome you get for people. And that would get me interested. Okay. So other things to think about, like if you're just approaching this decision for the first time and it terrifies you, what I like to think about is, you know, let's say I locked you in a library for the whole day and the library was huge and had books on every single topic and it had a big old comfy couch in there and you were by yourself for the whole day in there you had all the coffee and water that you needed and snacks, what would you do? What, what books would you grab? No one's watching. There's no you know, purpose for this other than your own enjoyment. What books would you grab and take over to that comfy couch 
and spend your day reading? What types of topics or subjects are you the most interested in? Those, the answer to that question, those are hints about what your broad niche probably should be. A big mistake you can make is choosing a niche that you had success in in the past, but are not passionate about anymore. When I first got into coaching, I chose real estate investing because that's my background. I've had success. I had a big flipping business. I bought a bunch of rental properties. That's how I got my first foray into financial freedom and all this. But my passion for that niche was fading. I wasn't like still listening to podcasts on real estate or books and like trying to hit new levels with that. I had already sort of been there, done that. And I was interested in this world of online education, coaching, podcasting, writing, that kind of stuff. That's I've honestly been interested in that for years, even during the real estate and prior to it. So it's like I finally found what my heart wants. Um, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> I chose real estate because I thought I had to, because that was the thing that by far I had the biggest track record in. And as some of you know, if you've listened to this podcast, you know, it used to be about real estate. And I changed, you know, what I wanted to do. So I went for years down the path of real estate coaching only to be like, yeah, I'm actually not passionate about that. Turn the car around, doing something new. That was a mistake. I mean, you could look at it how you want. Everything's like, you know, I guess land you ultimately where you where you are and it's part of your story and you learn a lot from whatever your journey is but the truth is is if i had gone all in on the thing that i love i would be a lot further along in this space because i would have had all those other years of of growth in this space and so what i would ask you is what are you currently passionate about what are the books you love to read what is the stuff you learned to uh, you love to learn about right now, not what you were great at in the past or what you used to like. That will give you a great idea of the broad niche that you should consider choosing. And then you think about who is my ideal client? What do they want the most? Right? What is their biggest first aspiration that they have that I'm going to help them create the outcome I'm going to help them get? Same thing. And then lastly, I know this is a lot here, what can you actually deliver with confidence, with 100% certainty? So when you got and sell it, it's not all this, like, well, maybe I could do it. Like, I know I can give you the blueprint to start your expert's business. I know I can. I mean, I've just been figuring this out for six years. I've spent multiple six figures working with the best coaches and drinking from the fire hose and reading books, listening to podcasts and trying things in my own businesses and some things worked, some things didn't. And I've distilled down the essence of what you need and what works and what doesn't. And so that's why that's my product because it's the thing that I'm just like, yep, I'm the guy for this. And so who are you the guy or the girl uh, or what are you the guy or the girl for? What is the piece that you can reliably promise. Okay, I have a client named Alejandro, and when he came to me to become a coach, he wanted to work in the real estate investing space because we had done some work in the past on his real estate investing business. He, he developed a passion for it. And uh, I was like, dude, uh, you know, you're still figuring out your real estate business. You know, you haven't really done a lot yet you've just started and you're you know you're you haven't bought your first house yet he's like i know brian but i really want to coach in that space i I really want to do it it's like well you can't teach people how to do something you haven't done and you don't know how to do yet because it wouldn't be authentic it might be the thing you're passionate about but what can you what piece within that niche can you authentically deliver on and one thing that he was really good at was identifying great cash flow markets to invest in. There's a process where you check off a lot of different data points and you analyze markets to figure out where can you still get like a $50,000 house that rents for 800 bucks a month, even in a crazy hot market like this one. 
And he was really good at that and a natural at it because he's an engineer and he loves to look at spreadsheets and, uh, you know, just break everything down to the numbers. And so the program we came up for him with for him was a 30 day intensive on how to pick a great market to invest in. Something that he's done successfully on more than one occasion because he's picked a couple markets for himself and really refined his process after and he learned my process initially and then he used that to birth his version of it. So he's been trained on it and he's done it and he can help somebody do it. He knows so much more about that than some person who's just new and they're like, oh my gosh, I look, I want to buy a rental, but I live in Denver and the houses are 800,000. He can be like, dude, no, look over here in Little Rock, Arkansas, where they're $40,000. Here's why. Here's all the data points behind that. That is really valuable for somebody who wants to buy rentals to have that huge epiphany and have him hold their hand and go through his program. And so, but it's also authentic to what he can deliver on. He's not lying to people and being dishonest or trying to say that he can do, give them the whole shebang. So I hope that helps. In summary, you can think about your niche in terms of the library analogy, like what are the topics you would love to learn just to get some high level answers and, and you'll get some major clues on what your niche might be. But then you have to start thinking about what does my ideal client need the most? What is their biggest aspiration, the first thing they want within that niche? And then what piece of that, if you need to drill it down further like Alejandro did, what piece of that outcome can I authentically deliver? So maybe you don't promise the whole shebang, but you promise a piece of it. And you can add on to it from there. As you grow in that area, you'll be able to authentically create products to help other people with the next steps two, three, four, which is again, why you should pick something you're passionate about. Because if he wasn't passionate about real estate and growing his own efforts to, you know, to do bigger and bigger deals and all that, then starting with a real estate product then pivoting to something else would be stupid, right? So you got to pick something that you're in for the long haul. And then as you get better, you can turn around and carve out different pieces of that and create different products that help people hit higher and higher levels based upon getting them the next outcome they want after the first one, second one, and so on. Okay. Guys, I hope this has been really helpful for you. And the last thing I will say is in the second week of June, I'm launching a one-time program to help aspiring coaches and experts launch their business, sell their first handful of their products, and have a very clear blueprint on what to do, step by step by step. We're going to go over choosing your avatar, choosing uh, or defining your outcome, shaping the details of your program, how you will attract new people into your world, how you will nurture them along with content and how you will promote your programs, deliver them. And I also am going to show you how I use a weekly routine to organize all of my activities so that I don't get confused on what to do. This program is under $1,000 and I'm only looking for a small group of people because I want some rock stars in there who are going to give me some really good feedback on the program. So, um, you know, don't email me if you're not like, that sounds perfect for me and I could commit to four weeks and I'll be on the calls and I'll give you good, honest feedback because I'm going to take this and make it into a course ultimately. And so I need your help and that's why I'm pricing it where it is. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, email me brian at brianelwood.net. I'll put that in the show notes. We can have a chat to see if that makes sense for you or not. Hope this helps, guys. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Peace.